soul going crazy. She got her ass and she shaking it. She throwing it back and I'm taking it. I'm throwing this money, she making it. The mother women, they be faking it. She making boss moves. She making boss moves. She making boss moves. This DJ Chuck spins. I'm right here with Dollar Bill. We about to get an interview. We in here with a studio, the one stop shop. Get your cake up records. You gotta let the people know. Let's get to it. How long you been rapping? Rapping since like the early 2000s, for real, for real. Like, just ain't never really take it, take it serious at first. Just like, just a high work for real. What, what, what got you like you're taking more serious? I mean, like, basically, like, fucking with the streets, because I basically tried everything else, so I was like, yeah, let me fuck with this lane, and you know, see what this shit going yeah, I see you do everything. We in the studio, but you can get everything here. You gotta let the people know you get everything. Yeah, you get everything. Like you can come get your song recorded. I do the artwork. Uh, you need placement, like Spinbrella, my mixtape. You feel me? Um, I probably can fuck with you um, on the um, promotion tip. I got the. Um, and you can follow this on um, Instagram, Crime Lab Syndicate. Um, you feel me? That's a whole. Um, media platform, you feel the as marketing and promotion and all that shit for the world, so, like, like that, Alright, let's talk about Get Your Kick Up Records. That's, that's you right there? Yeah, yeah, that's the label, that's the label. Anybody else on that label? Yeah, me, myself, uh, got my motherfucking Mike Mike, uh, GMB Keys. Uh, Nemesis 7814, free my nigga, you feel me? Uh, my man, uh, Quincy, you know, rap and sing, like, he do it all, you feel me? Like, got a strong team right now, we're in the building, so, I mean, we, we definitely working. I, I know I had put you on, like, one of my last tapes, but I don't remember your name being Dollar Bill. So, so what was the change in to Dollar Bill? From your last name. Yeah, because, uh, you know, everybody in, everybody in the streets and shit, they know me by trick. GMB trick, for real, for real. But, like, I mean, I ain't going to say it's a conscious decision, but, like, it's just so so fucked up, like, all the shit that's going on in the city, man. Like, motherfucker die every day, like, you feel me? So, it's just, I'm trying to reframe away from, like, that, that, that violent shit, so, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, when you hear the name Trigger, what's the first thing you think about? It's a gun. You know, right. killing somebody, you feel what I'm saying? Right. So, it was just like, yeah, man, let me, let me go ahead and switch that up. I don't want the people to think that's what this guy's all about. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a gangbanger, you know, none of that shit, you feel me? So, man, it is what it is. So, Dollar Bill, you know, I'm still a get money brother, GMB is the team, you know, already. Well, what do GMB stand for? Get money, bro. <laughs> Something like that. I like that. I like that. Feel me? More than the brotherhood, man. You feel me? More than the brotherhood. It's a lifestyle. You feel me? Like, we, we, we a group get money, brothers. But it's, it's a lot of GMB niggas out there. You feel me? Like, it basically, GMB started, it was, it was for street shit. Like, right. you feel me? Niggas want me in right. I the one took it upon myself to brand that as, you know, my music thing, bro. When I really started to take the service and get yeah. All right, right now, I mean, you got a new single on the back. What's the name of that? Boss Moves. Feature of my man, Mr. Slick. It's ready to come out right. You feel me? I'm going to have that on uh, iTunes, Spotify, you feel me? Amazon, Tidal, everything. Uh, and what's the name of the project and when that's coming out? Project called Hood Father, The Transformation. Mm -hmm. Did that correlate with the, uh, the name change? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause, I mean, it, it was Hood Father at first. You feel me? It was just straight out Hood Father. And since the name changed, and, you know, I'm going to, about my transformation, transition, whatever you want to call it. Just, you know, yeah, I do, I do the subtitle, The Transformation. I don't know what's going on. And I really, really held it back because I wanted to do some more songs and really, you know, stack the dollar bill side. 
And yeah. Uh, you said you've been rapping since 2000. You feel like an OG in the game with the rap tip in Baltimore? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm an older man. Like, I'm, I'm definitely in the brackets with like, like the age range of like, uh, let's say like, honey grand. And right. Like, uh, man, what's your name? Like, like more of the older rappers. Like I, I'm in my thirties, so, right? So, yeah, it is what it is. But I can still spit with the young ones. So I mean, it's, it's nothing. It's simple. Like, yeah. do you ever like? I know like the streets crazy right now. It's a lot of young and rapping. They rapping about stuff they probably don't even know about. Stuff you probably don't seen ten times. Do you ever look to like put anybody under your wing, help them out or anything? I mean, right now I'm working with my son. My right. son's 16, he on the label too, his name Baby Tate. So, right. you know, I'm already working with him, and you feel me? He had me in the studio, doing what we doing. He got a couple singles out right now on uh, SoundCloud, we doing some good numbers, you feel me? So, you know, he got a video coming soon, I'm doing my thing with him, and like, yeah. Uh, no, that's cool. You got. I mean, you don't want nobody else teaching them anything wrong. Anything that's not what you what you approve of. Right. I mean, that's that's really how you get it done. That's how you get it done. When when they come to the graphic design, I know you do the graphic design in the studio. How you came about with the graphic designs? Like just um, I mean, I used to used to get artwork from other other dudes, just like anybody else. But I'm more I'm more of a thinker, and I just thought like, well, shit. If I get the program that they making it with, why can't I make it? Like, and I'm, I'm, I'm used to doing those type of things with, with the graphics. So like once I got the program, and this took me some time, and they just started jumping. I was basically doing it for myself first. And then when people start saying it work, it's like, yo, how much you charge? And I'm like, man, boy, there's really some money in this. Like, and it is what it is, man. I mean, no, I'm definitely a fan of people with several different incomes for real. Y'all make it everywhere possible, especially in a poverty stricken like place like Baltimore for real. And working for yourself, that's like it ain't no better feeling for real. Especially if you can build that clientele with your studio, the graphic design. You can make all the money you want straight from where we at right now. Um, and never. What's, what's next for you in the, in the rap game? I mean, I don't know, man, like, I'm thinking this might be my last mixtape. This is my 12th mixtape. All 11 of them, they available on Spin Brother. All you got to do is look up Trigger underscore GMV. They are under the old name. But, yeah, I'm thinking, like, this one going to be the last one for me, and I'm putting all my focus into my son, and you feel me, his growth, and, you know, his development. Right. Nah, no, ain't nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, and then you still can hop on a few songs with him, time being, so you can have a few features and stuff like that for real. When it, when it comes to your son with the music, I wish I wish he was here. We can get him in an interview. When it comes to your son with the music, for is it like you just let him talk about everything abroad, or what do you really know? Do you like advise him like not to? Or? Oh no, um, like basically. Like when I first put him in the studio, like the only thing I told him was like the curse words, the cuss words, you feel me? Like, right. Cut that out. Like everything else was like I don't condone it, but it's his reality. It's what he sees. If he's expressing himself, and I've listened to his music, and it's, it's nothing out the way that I wouldn't allow it to be out there. So you feel me? Like, yeah, I mean, but I definitely, and he knows, like. Yeah, write something over like that. I tell him, you know, like, yeah, but it is what it is. Oh, so do you advise him like push his pen or you like the freestyle? Um, freestyle. Yeah, definitely, definitely tell him push his pen. He always, when well, he want a freestyle. All right. All right. I don't know. As far as like studio time go, when you doing that, it's, it's, it's the time consuming. Uh, so, you, know, you can take that same time and sit down probably in less time and you concentrate and write and come about with the same, you know. Yeah. All right. Anybody else want to? Other people on the label, you see anything else coming from them? Are you like the captain of the label? Are you like the CEO? Uh huh. Uh, this. Yeah, um. Mike, Mike, he got a couple projects out. So, um, shout out to him. Um, and he just did the Fathers in the Hood joint. Film, he do that every year. What? Um, Keys got a project. 
And um, he just basically, it's crazy, he's basically waiting on artwork for me. So he's <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, it's crazy, man. Like, um, oh, down, forgot my man has it, man. GMB has it, has Shout out to has it, man. He got a project on Spirit Brother, too. Um, Quincy Jones, he got a project on Spirit Brother. Nemesis, he got a project on Spirit Brother. My man touched down, you feel me? He gonna get back to work, and it is what it is. But, you know, we holding it down. Right, I see. I see the GMB clothing line. I need to get in touch about that. What's up with the GMB clothing yeah, line? Yeah, yeah. Right now it's, uh, it's basically online based for the moment. You right. Know me? But like, yeah, um, it's through a um, company called Spreadshirt. If you go to Spreadshirt.com/slash GMB Clothing Co. Yeah, we'll pull up all my designs. Got men's, women's, kids, like everything. T-shirts is um, as low as twenty dollars. Right. Only about three day orders. You feel me? Uh, that's really starting to pick up. People really getting on to that. It's really starting to order up. But um, pretty soon, and it's in the workings. But I'm gonna start doing them myself. Right. So like, ain't I gonna do the whole online thing? Cause you know a lot of people like, especially you know. Treatment is most of them ain't really dealing with no order nothing offline, so like, I'm gonna definitely have uh, in hand physical shirts for everybody. And, yeah, I'm just rocking out, man, doing what I do. Oh yeah, we definitely need the streets to go support that. Go order online, you'll be able, you'll eventually be able to get you a shirt from the man himself. Alright, uh, but it's DJ Chuck Spins. I'm right here with GMB Dollar. Y'all hear the single. And that project could forever come out, y'all go get that. I'm out. She got her ass and she shaking it. She throwing that bag and I'm taking it. I'm throwing this money, she making it. The mother women, they be faking it. She making boss moves. She making boss moves. She making boss moves. Yeah, she making